Good morning everybody, it is Saturday today and exciting news, I named my new yellow car bum -ba -da -bum. His name is Mr Bonoffi and I love it and I love him So I'm just in here with Teeth where I live. Um, Elliot has popped out to have a sunbed, not because he's like vain and wants to be tanned, but he gets quite bad eczema and at the moment it's really flaring up and he can't put cream on it because it's like in his scalp and stuff. So he's just gone to have a quick five minute sunbed to try and help that a bit. And then we are heading to Hazelmere where Elliot lives and we are going for brunch at our favourite place called Hemingway's which I'm really looking forward to. But it's like 10.45 now and I'm starving and he lives like an hour away. So I'm gonna get a bit hangry anytime soon. I can just feel it coming on. Anyway, I think it's gonna be a nice day. It's really gloriously sunny today. I'm even wearing shorts. Also, it is bank holiday weekend now, which I am so happy about because it means that I get a three day weekend, which I'm so excited for. And it's my sister's birthday on Monday and she's having a party, which is gonna be a lot of fun. Um, hopefully, anyway, hopefully it doesn't rain. And uh, it's gonna be a really nice weekend, I think, so. Stay tuned. I'm gonna eat a polo. Hello, hello. Let's oh, see you then. Oh, straight out of Towie. So hot. Oh. God, you're very demanding. How have you been sat in this car? I think I'm just really hot to come out. I can't. Wait. So, yeah, it was good. I've never been in a sunbed. You need to go to that one. Did if you, you lay down go. or stand up? Lay down. Stand up. I lay down. <laughs> You have to put your bare bum cheeks on the machine. Yeah, I get naked. <laughs> it's time for brunch. I'm just debating which milkshake to have. They do a peanut butter and banana one. Oh, well, there's two oh, outside. Flexing. Oh, cut the ham. <laughs> Always depresses me. Jules tastes. <laughs> that was a delicious brunch. When I ordered, the woman said, "Do you want a kids' portion?" And I was like. You obviously don't know me. I'd like an extra large if you have it, please. <laughs> we just got some weird drinks from Waitrose. The Living Tea Equinox Kombucha. Equinox Kombucha. Should, should, we, should we try to just get both flavours? Did you get a lump of jelly in your mouth? No. I got a lump of jelly. I got a lump of jelly. You've got one too. There, Where? look, floating around. No, oh, please! <laughs> right, so as some of you may have seen, a lady won 600 million pounds on the lottery in, I think she was from Canada or America. America somewhere, during the week. yeah. And we've been talking about it and we were like, this is ridiculous, we need to win the lottery. So we both just went and bought a lottery ticket and we said, if we each won a million, what would we give each other or what would we do? I said I'd give Elliot five grand. Yeah. Did I say five? I think I might have meant 50. Oh, you did say five. I did say five. I'll give you five to start off with and then should you finish that? See, I've got would. a better option. Yeah, go on, what would you do? I'd put down the deposit oh. for both of us on that place in Brighton. Oh, Grand, that's nice it? of you. So I'd, we'd do that and well, then we'd have go somewhere to sit. Together. And, yeah, that was my next point take off work for three months and just go traveling which is about three months three grand if southeast asia three grand each yeah that's what i'd do i would buy you new rims for your new motor i want an audi r8 yeah i'll get you one of them okay we'll know tonight whether we're gonna be okay. millionaires or not well you'll see because the next vlog will be in an r8 or in thailand <laughs> Too sexy for my shirt. Too sexy for my shirt. Too sexy for my shirt. So sexy that it hurts. <laughs> Bye. Oh, I'll see you tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow. So I am back from Elliot's now. It took me like an hour to get home and I was falling asleep. I got stuck behind this tractor. It was going so slowly. Anyway, I'm back. Mum bought these two new sunbeds, so I felt it only right that I test it out in the garden on this sunny, sunny afternoon. So I'm gonna have a little afternoon snooze in the garden, I think. Try and catch some rays. Lord knows I need a tan. <laughs> um, yeah. Let the nap commence. So I've just been sleeping in the garden for about an hour and a half, I think it was. And now I'm hot and I feel all like tight. My skin feels all tight. It doesn't look like I've caught the sun, let's be honest, but maybe I have. I've just come in. And I'm chilling again with some skips. I've said this before, but I'll say it again. Skips are my favourite crisps in the whole world. I would live off of them if I could. 
when I was in Hazelmere this morning, Elliot and I popped into a charity shop so that I could get a book for our holiday. We go to Malaga in two weeks tomorrow, which is really exciting. We're really looking forward to it. And I always like to have a book when I'm on a holiday. I'm not a very good reader in general. I do listen to Audible every morning on my way to work in the car. At the moment, I'm listening to The Hundred Year Old Man Who Jumped Out of a Window and Disappeared Forever. I think that's the title, um, which is quite good. But I thought I'd get a real book. And this is called The Executioner by Chris Carter. It says, he'll scare you to death. And um, actually, the only books that I really read, mostly, other than like autobiographies, is, um, is thrillers. I do love a James Patterson. And I read the blurb on this one, and it looks quite good. The Sunday Times bestseller, The Executioner. So I thought, even though I don't go on holiday for two weeks, I'm a very slow reader. So I thought I will just start now, um, see if it's any good. Me. Mum has made us a chili con carne. Mmm. Dan's favourite. Yeah, Dan's favourite. My favourite. <laughs> Lou and Dan came round for chili, and we had a few drinks, and I did Louise's nails, and then we all ended up watching that show Naked Attraction which we all think is just the funniest most bizarre thing in the world. I think that's kind of like one of my guilty pleasures actually like I love watching it because I think it's so funny but I hate that I love watching it because it's awful. Um, anyway that happened and I'm off to bed now and also you have to watch tomorrow's vlog because I am doing something very unique. I'd never heard of it before in my whole life. Um, it involves animals, a church, and a priest. So you gotta to come tomorrow and see what I do because it sounds hilarious. I'm very excited. Anyway, right, I'm off to bed. Thank you for watching this vlog. Make sure you watch tomorrow's. It's gonna to be hilarious. And I will see you then. Bye!